Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to lecture 89. So, we have done one problem related to interplanetary transfer. So, you might have got an idea what is happening. Now, we will put the uh, whatever the processing we have done in terms of mathematics. So, let us uh, start with So, the two uh, planets are shown here, this is one and this is the reference line we take, a reference line. So, planet 1 and 2, they are in the inner and outer orbit and let us say n 1 is the angular velocity in this and n 2 is the angular velocity in the outer one. So, n 1 in inner orbit, angular velocity. and n 2 in the outer orbit, in outer orbit angular velocity. So, with the reference line the angle for these two planets it can be written as n 1 t and theta 2 equal to theta 0 2 plus n 2 t. So, these are the position which is very simple okay. and theta 2 minus theta 1 therefore, can be written as theta 0 2 minus theta 0 1 plus n 2 minus n 1 times t, which we can write as phi 0 plus n 2 minus n 1 t and on the left hand side we can write this as phi. So, phi equal to phi 0 plus n 2 minus n 1 phi is called phase of or phase angle of planet 2, planet 2 with respect to planet 1 and phi 0 is initial phase that is at t equal to 0. If n 2 is greater than n 1, which will happen only if n 2 is lying in the inner orbit and n 1 is lying in the outer orbit. So, if n 2 is greater than n 1, then planet 2 moves anti clockwise with respect to the planet 1. If n 2 is less than n 1, then planet 2 appears to move, moves clockwise 
with respect to planet 1. So, phi 0 this is the initial phase angle. So, the question can be asked now let us take this figure again we are in this place. So, this was the position of 1 and uh, this was position of 2, this angle is your phi 0, the difference between them. So, the question arises when again this phase difference between these two because they are moving. So, the phase difference will change. So, when again the same phase difference will appear. So, this is the question so, that means phi plus 2 phi equal to phi 0 when this will occur. So, I will write it in language if at t equal to 0 phi 0 is the phase angle then after how much time phase angle will be phi 0 again. So, here phi 0 is indicating the phase of 2 with respect to 1 initially. So, let us consider this in two cases say the n 2 is greater than n 1 case 1. So, this I will remove rather than writing like this I will write in terms of equation. So, case 1 n 2 is greater than 1. So, therefore, phi will be equal to phi 0 plus 2 pi what does this mean? See here, this is the phase of 2, okay. and n2, if suppose n2 is faster than the n1, okay. it is a greater than n1. So, when the same phase will come for this, it is required that with respect to this, with respect to 1, obviously 1 is also moving. So, while it moves in the orbit, so with respect to 1, it has to go all the way from 2 is here. So, it has to go all the way from here and again go back to this place means the 2 pi angle it has to cover. So, that means the phase angle of 2 with respect to 1 this becomes phi 0 plus 2 pi at that time. Okay. This is moving this is 1 is also moving 2 is also moving here in this direction but 2 is moving faster of course, which is not the case once 2 is inside only that will happen, but let us suppose that it is written like this. So, starting from this place and going back to this place. So, total phase angle with respect to 1 then becomes equal to phi 0 and plus 2 pi and this must be equal to phi 0 
plus n2 minus n1 times t and the period after which after how much time this period this is called the synodic time same as the moving reference frame rotating reference frame we have done in the restricted three body problem okay so this t synodic and therefore from this place what we can see this t synodic this will be equal to 2 pi n2 minus n1 provided n2 is greater than n1 the case b can be case b or 2 n1 is greater than n2 so if n1 is greater than n2 then 2 will appear to move in the backward direction okay. if n1 is greater than n2 so with respect to 1 the 2 will appear to move in the clockwise direction like this okay. so therefore the angle to be covered in that case it has to go from Two has to start from this place. Okay, it will go here in the back direction. So here in this case, this will be phi equal to phi zero plus n two minus n one times t synodic. This will be equal to phi zero. So it starts from this place. It goes all the way here. In the negative direction, and then comes back. Okay, so at that time the phase angle this becomes phi zero minus two pi. This is in the opposite direction. This two pi. So it comes to the same phase again with respect to one. Okay, and once we solve this, so the T synodic. This will be minus two pi divided by n two minus n one. So both can be combined together, and the t synodic can be written as two pi divided by n two minus n one magnitude. And this is very important because this tells you. Uh, because as you have seen that before launching certain conditions should be satisfied the phase angle between the planet a and planet b it should have a particular value so that if you are launching for the satellite from planet a to planet b so your satellite goes through 180 degree of home and transfer okay this condition has to be satisfied so this particular condition this phase angle difference between planet a and planet b when it will occur again okay. so once you miss that time then you have to wait so how much time you have to wait it's a given by the synodic time this is the waiting time if we miss to launch so that phase angle condition phase condition is matched is satisfied okay so we have looked into one aspect now we go for the round the trip mission in terms of mathematics round trip so a forward journey
1 is here, 2 is here, this angle is phi 0, the phase angle difference. And then from here the launching is done. See, in this condition, one has to go and catch up with two. Okay. So, if we launch the satellite at this time, so using the home and transfer, so it will catch up two here in this place. So, this is two prime, it comes to two prime. So, initial phase angle condition should be matched. So, in our case this phi 0 the earlier problem we have done this is corresponding to the initial uh, angle was given which was uh, 139 degree for one and uh, uh, the other was 271 degree. So, 270 minus 139 and plus the wait time which we have used okay. and plus the wait time that makes your phi 0 and then you will be able to launch. So, that in that time it the 2 goes from this place to this place. So, here this time will be 2 times the time of travel n 2 t. So, we can write the equation now. So, pi 0 this quantity then this is related to this whole angle is pi. So, pi minus and this angle is from here to here this angle is n to t. When the the spacecraft arrives at 2 prime. So, at that time phi f is the phase angle and this quantity will be phi 0 and plus n 2 minus n 1 t. So, the, this is the time t. So, during this, this whole flight is taking place. So, therefore, the phase angle difference it will be given by the initial phase and plus n 2 minus n 1 times t. The angle between these two vehicles. So, one will be at that time because phi 0 is the initial phase angle here, this is your phi 0 which is shown here. And then n 2 minus n 1. So, velocity angular velocity of 2 and angular velocity of 1 this we have to subtract and this flight time how much it will go ahead. So, this will show you where your uh, the second one is lying with respect to 1. Th this is the angular difference initially and later on this much of angular dif difference between 1 and 2 will be created. So, phi f then this becomes pi minus n 2 t plus n 2 minus n 1 t or phi f equal to pi minus n 2 t n 2 t cancels out n 1 t. Because 1 is faster and therefore, this phi f will turn out to be negative. So, this same thing we can write here in this way also 
this is n 1 t minus pi. So, when the spacecraft arrives at planet 2, phase angle will be given by phi f equal to pi minus n 1 t and this is very important and uh, if you refer to the uh, our earlier problem so the initial phase difference we have calculated somewhere see the initial phase difference see so this is the quantity we have calculated so this is the initial phase difference between these two theta b prime and theta a between the planet a asteroid a and the asteroid b so this is referring to the phase difference we are writing here so this is written more in mathematical terms sometimes it may happen that you do not remember the equation but you can always work out using the uh, problem the way I have solved it. Now, during the return journey, so this is for the forward journey. Okay. Remember that here your wait time is included in this wait time or initial any offset of 1 with respect to 2 this is everything is included in this phi 0 which we are calling as the initial phase difference. Okay. Do not mistake this with the previous problem here we have combined both of them. So, return journey. return journey we can just write by matching the angles. So, phi f the initial phase difference and then n 2 times t w. So, now the same thing happens in the return journey you have to wait for certain time. So, this we are writing as the wait time the waiting time you cannot immediately get back from planet 2 to planet 1. Okay. So, n 2 times T w this is your angle covered during the waiting time by 2 this is for on the left hand side this is planet 2. Okay. So, initial phase difference say here either on the back direction on the front direction whatever it may be here in this case let us show this as phi f and then the waiting time goes. So, waiting time here is in this case is a separately shown n 2 times t w and then from here the satellite is being launched. So, the angle covered this is uh, pi corresponding to this. So, total angle covered from this place measuring from this place this is the position of 1 this is the position of 2 here initially this goes to 2 prime. Okay. So, during this time your 1 is here okay. and 1 during this 
wait time it will travel to say somewhere uh, it, it travels maybe if, uh, because it's a faster so it may travel to this place it may go all the way from here and it com can come to this place okay. and then from uh, again for in this time which co is corresponding to here tw uh, sorry this is uh, the flight time which is corresponding this is the flight time t okay and which is corresponding to angle pi so that means where the earth has to cover certain distance such that your angle is is matched so here we write this as pi we will return back to this so in one times tw plus t plus minus plus minus 2 n pi let us look here in this quantity first what this is n1 times tw plus t what is this n1 times tw tw corresponding this is the this particular part this segment where the time tw which is the waiting time this and plus the t time so during this time tw plus t how much one is will be covering the angle so it will go from all the way at the angular speed of n1 multiplied by so this is the angle this is going to cover and this must be lying opposite here in this case it if it has to catch the spaceship in the return journey so the angle this is angle covered by angle covered by 1 so angle covered by 1 it's a getting back maybe one rotation or as i have written here this is plus minus this is plus and minus it may go a number of times but it has to come back to the so if it's going number of times so for this plus minus sign has been added here to n pi n is the number of time it goes there so n equal to 1 2 3 and so on so this is angle covered by 1 and plus minus 2 n pi this part is angle covered by 1 okay. and this angle must be equal to phi f which is written here plus n 2 times omega this angle so you can see here it starts from this place to the if we just look angle wise so it goes to this place and from here the launch is being done so the, this is the total angle covered and this we have to add to phi f so phi f plus n2 tw plus pi this should be equal to this much and thereafter if we re rearrange so n1 tw this will be equal to minus pi minus phi f plus minus uh, then n1 t plus n1 t and plus minus 2 n pi pi minus n 1 t. So, pi minus n 1 t already we have this value here phi f equal to from the previous derivation. So, this is minus f minus phi f plus minus 2 n pi divided by n 2 minus n 1. So, t w the wait time is then minus 2 phi f plus minus 2 n pi divided by n 2 minus n 1. Uh, 
Okay, for other way also we can derive this uh, equation expression where whatever the problem we have done uh, mathematical one. Okay. If you follow that notation, uh, add all the angles, you will get the same result. Only thing that you have to add here plus minus 2 and pi. And this is to make this quantity positive. And n is chosen in such a way. So, uh, this is 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. So, minimum of that n has to be chosen. Okay. So, that this T w remains positive. Here, this T w has to be, this is a positive quantity. Because it depends on n2 minus n1. Okay. If n2 minus n1 is uh, greater than 0, so this the denominator becomes positive. So, accordingly, we need to adjust here. Okay. If this is negative, okay. so then you can see that what the result will be. So, this accounts for your the wait time in terms of mathematics. So, I will suggest doing the problem the way I have done okay. and to that you can always add this quantity plus minus 2 and pi. Just like if you remember I have subtracted 360 degree that means I am subtracting minus 2 pi. So, minus sign I have taken there. So, if many times you are not able to visualize then you can just take help of the equation and then work it out. So, to wind up uh, this particular part, what we have done? We have taken the planet 1 and the planet 1 in the wait time T w, it will move by n 1 times T w and then the, during the flight time, it will move by n 1 times T. So, I have added this and to this plus minus 2 n pi I have added because it the planet is faster. So, it can go many times. Okay, the more faster it is, the more number of times it can go. Okay. So, the, this quantity then uh, if it is going many times immediately, you can see that you have to subtract. If it is slower, n 1 is slower as compared to n 2, then you have to add plus uh, 2 n pi. So, here subtraction is required. On the left hand side, what we have done? Phi f is the initial phase, difference between 1 and the 2 during the wait time further phase difference is created. Okay. So, this comes here and then to this we add this pi angle which is the angle from this place to this place. So, that it may matches with the position of the earth in here in this case say this is the earth, A is your earth and this is Mars. Okay. So, this way the angle can be matched. So, the same problem what I have I did using the um, mathematics, the same uh, uh, the purely the numerical uh, style. Now, here this is theoretically this is done. Okay. So, we stop here and we will continue in the next lecture.